If you don't operate in faith, faith is unconscious. The moment you say, I'm cringing in faith, you're already in trouble. Because <laughs> the Bible says, the just shall live by faith. If you live by breathing, you don't wake up and go like, you don't. It is a lifestyle. Amen. Faith is unconscious. The woman with an issue of blood, for, for over 30 years, she said, if I may but touch the hem of his garment, if I may, the moment she saw it, listen, that woman is not allowed to be among men, is not allowed, as a woman, she's not allowed to be among men. Wow. As a person with an issue of blood, she's not even allowed to be among people. Wow. And she went and grabbed the hem. That's why she went behind and she was in the middle there. With her. She was unconscious that she was a woman. She was unconscious that she, was, she had a blood issue. She, all she was concentrating on, like a mad woman, she went and grabbed the hem, the hem of the garment. What was she trying to do? She wasn't thinking about it. She confessed it for too long. Wow. That everything else, she became unconscious of the environments that, that uh, were obstacles to a miracle. Wow. So faith should be a lifestyle. Hallelujah. This is why I say faith is the lifestyle of the rich and famous in Christ. Wow. That's my definition of faith. Faith is the lifestyle of the rich and famous in Christ. Amen. So it has to be unconscious. The moment you feel like, oh, the bailiff is outside. Relax. The bailiff will kill you. Relax. Just go there and say, I'm here. You don't do that. It has to be a thing that just rises from you now. That's why I talk about what? Faith and questionable dominion through the spirit of faith. What happens? The spirit of faith speaketh on this wise. It's no longer you speaking. It's the spirit of faith speaking through you. Causes your voice to come out. So when you say, how do I get in? This is where the problem is with people. They want to, to move into it. You know, like, yes, now I'm starting to stand on faith. Hey, you're already sinking. <laughs> That's the hope you're dealing with. And hope will give you a large smile, huge smile from ear to ear while the Titanic is sinking. You, you die with a good attitude. If you try to crank faith when you're in trouble, you're already in trouble. So let it be a lifestyle, something you... That's why it says, let it be done according to the measure of faith. Don't pray for cancer if you can't pray for pimples to stop. Remember, faith cometh. It doesn't wow. stack up. 